got a lot of different cool things. You can see right over here, they've got a 5,120 watt hour power station. I'm assuming, oh, so it's 2,200 watts output, 5,120 watt hours battery capacity. That seems like a small inverter for a battery that size, but just means you're gonna get a ton of life cycles out of it. You got a TT30 RV plug. 2200 watts is definitely doable for an RV, but it's kind of on the low side. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, it's got storage up here. It looks like it uses XT90 solar connectors. It's got a built-in wheel. So this is definitely something similar to like the Delta Pro. Definitely much beefier, but I'm wondering why they want the smaller um, inverter there. And I'm trying to see what the solar input is. For solar input, we've got 12 to 120 volts up to a thousand watts doesn't say the amperage there so very interesting we've got let's see yep one xt90 connection for the solar input but interesting and then here they've got a stackable battery system now i'm going to try to talk to them here shortly but i see an antenna on here so maybe it's got wi-fi connectivity there's two solar inputs right here i'm assuming each of these are about 5,000 watt hours each and it looks like it's pretty stackable and then they've got another system here that definitely looks very similar to the bluetti and the uh, ecoflow stuff so let's see if i can try to get a hold of someone here so it's actually pronounced ukatel i just found that out um, but this unit here Basically, it's got the same battery that's in here inside this with a 2200 watt inverter, basically 2000 watt hour battery. So this is gonna be very similar to like the AC200 Max or right in there with like the Delta Max. So this is gonna be right in that range there. And they haven't been able to tell me how many extra batteries you can add to this, but from what it looks like, because there's just more and more expansion batteries, every expansion battery has one port to go to the previous unit and then another port to go to another Another unit so they don't know how many batteries you can add but potentially you can add lots of them but this white one behind me is the really cool one they call this the HPX and they've got a 30 60 and 90 version and that's just the amp and the HPX 60 US version is the only one that you can do split phase so 240 volt but with that you get two units the inverter is 3,000 watts that's a 3,000 watt inverter 4,000 watt solar input, and then each battery is basically 5,000 watt hours. So they're basically using the same server rack type batteries inside this unit. And I've seen this battery looking very similar in other booths here. So they may all be coming out of the same manufacturing plant. I'm not sure. But bottom line is it's lithium iron phosphate, and you can put up to three of them together in order to get 9,000 watts output. But I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to get split phase. So for whatever reason, you can only do 120 volt uh, with that and each one you add gets up to 3,000 watts inverter output so some pretty cool things from out from Ucatel here they're definitely starting to innovate a lot more people are interested in these stacking batteries for home backup um, and then a lot of other companies are also looking at doing kind of grid integration to where you can be recharging the system when electricity is cheap uh, just using it like a UPS you know, different parts of the day to reduce your electricity bill. So a lot of cool things coming out. Uh, I haven't seen that here is from Ucatel, but maybe something to look at. I'm just glad to see that Ucatel is making new equipment um, and kind of adapting because before it was just the small generators and so it's good to see the improvement. So go check out Ucatel. Maybe I'll be able to get uh, one of these to review. Um, there's so many systems now that are similar that's going to be hard to review them all. And uh, it's just going to be further growth in the industry. So I'm always good to see that. Be prepared. See you all in the next video.